Jersey Sports Zone's coverage of Bergen Catholic is being brought to you by Rothman Orthopedics. The Bergen Catholic Crusaders come to Elizabeth seeking a second straight non-public A North title. It's BC battling St. Peter's Prep at the Dunn Center. We saw two outstanding teams leave it all on the floor. Bergen Catholic opens the game on a 7-0 run. Matt Zona established his presence in the paint immediately. A big game for the Notre Dame signee. St. Peter's Prep would find their groove midway through the first. Mark Armstrong, the steal and the throwdown. The sophomore was outstanding in this sectional final. The Crusaders have a sophomore phenom of their own. Will Richardson on the drive, gorgeous. This one deserves another look. Richardson brings some flair with this finish. At the end of one, it's Bergen Catholic with a 15-11 lead. Second quarter, more Mark Armstrong. The hoop and the foul coming right at you. He has scored in double figures in every one of St. Peter's games. Remarkable, we're tied at 20. Armstrong is aggressive and his confidence, you can see it right here. He's only a sophomore. St. Peter's Prep takes a 26-24 lead. Bergen Catholic gets the lead right back. Zona passing over the double team. Richardson drains the three ball. And at the half, it's the Crusaders up two, 31-29. The Marauders continue to keep pace with the defending champs. Ali Bass from three gives St. Peter's a 37-34 lead. But Bergen closes the third with a big run. Justine Davis draws contact. Count the basket and the foul. Davis converts on the three-point play. Then, closing seconds of the third. Zona shows his rage. Matt Zona with the three gets the Crusaders fired up. A 10-0 run for Bergen Catholic. It's 44-37 as we head to the fourth. And in the fourth, Davis adds to the lead. It's now a nine point margin, 46 to 37. But here comes St. Peter's. Ray Davis on the drive. Look at him hang in the air. Counted and won. Davis would step up big in crunch time. Then Armstrong from way out there. That's a huge three. St. Peter's down just two, 48-46 under four minutes to go and the Marauders were able to rally from nine down to the fourth. Armstrong on the drive. Mark Armstrong led all scorers with 28. We're tied at 50 with 106 to go. Bergen Catholic responds. Matt Zona off the nice look from Julian Brown. It's 52-50 Crusaders. After Armstrong makes a pair of free throws, four seconds to go, tied at 52. Zona for the win. Off the mark. That means overtime at the Dunn Center. In OT, both teams shined in the high-pressure spot. Richardson shows off the handles. He takes it to the tin for two. On the other end, Ray Ford has an answer. Great hesitation on the short jumper. 21 points for Ray Sean Ford. We're tied at 58. And in the closing seconds, it's St. Peter's turn to go for the win. They spread the floor for Ford. His shot is blocked in the lane. Bass with the rebound, but he can't get it to go. Double overtime in the North Day Final, tied up at 58. The second OT saw Bergen Catholic finally wear down a great St. Peter's team. Zona is a machine. 20 points, 12 rebounds. And Richardson took over in double OT. This body control is incredible. What a finish. Will Richardson with eight in the final four minutes, 21 for the night. And the knockout punch comes courtesy of Julian Brown. The steal and the awesome reverse. Bergen Catholic lost three of its last score to close out the regular season, but the Crusaders are on a run and they're back in the non-public A state finals. 73 to 66 is your final in double overtime, making two straight sectional titles for the Crusaders. Matt Zono is proud to see his team persevere during this marathon win. Uh, definitely. I mean, any win is big. I mean, as, as soon as you get one of those little trophies, I mean, it's always exciting to get. I mean, my first two years, we lost in this game twice. So to get it the past two years is great, but I feel like we're not done yet. We want to keep going. We just prepare the way we prepare. I just want the opportunity to coach this group of kids again because they're just the terrific kids. I'd play the game outside at a park somewhere if they wanted to. It didn't matter to me. So we're just going to prepare um, and uh, be ready to play when they call us to tell us to play. I know um, Al Stump mentioned it could be Friday, it could be Saturday, so we'll be ready. Congratulations to the Bergen Catholic Crusaders, non-public A-North champions. In Elizabeth, I'm Rich Crampanis for JerseySportsZone.com.